Hello. I'm going to show you how to make a graph of resistance versus length as well as resistance versus diameter using Microsoft Excel. First, you have to input your data just like what you have in your data sheet. You don't need to add length, voltage, current or resistance as well as the units, but it will help you not to get lost when making your graph. Once the data has been entered, here's how you turn it into a graph. First, select the length portion, or you can simply select just the numbers, and hold control in your keyboard, and select the resistance values. Next, go to insert, click scatter, and then select this, point, this icon here. And that's your graph. Of course, it does not have the units on the Y and the X axis. That's where you can type it using the insert text box so that you will have a full graph. Next, how do you find the slope of this graph? First, select the lines, right click, and add trend line. Okay. Once you have the add trend line, you click display equation on chart. This will show you the equation for the slope, which is the general equation y equal to mx plus b, where m is actually the slope. In this case, m is 0 0.2175. That's the slope of your graph. Now that we've finished table 1, let's go to graphing our table 2. Here, we want to graph not the resistance versus diameter, but actually 1 over area or the inverse of the area versus resistance. Now take note that when you are graphing by Excel, the value on the left column will always be the x-axis and the value on the right column will be the y-axis. Let's do this. Insert, scatter, select the chart, and there's your graph. Now it's time to find the slope. Select the line, right click, add trend line, and then click display equation on chart and close. And again, from the general equation for slope, M, is your slope so the slope in this case 0 0.1837 this is how you can graph using Microsoft Excel